Hello, good evening. You may know that I am sort of fresh out of the bath, so I smell delightful right now. I'm all nice and um, coconut oiled up and moisturized. I do need to fix my nails though. Um, Auntie Sue for my birthday, thank you Auntie Sue, sent me um, an Amazon voucher and I thought, what would Auntie Sue like me to spend that on? So I've ordered a, a UV lamp thing to do uh, gel nails with. Yay! So I'm um, gonna do my own and soak off old nails rather than have them, you know, kind of sawn off at the salon. <laughs> so that's my plan. So we'll see what sparkly things I come up with with my nails. I won't be anywhere as near, nearly as good as Sue. Right, a little shifty as to what's in there. Um, but first of all, let's show you what's in the boxes. Number one, I'm just gonna take this away. It says Ainsley on the box. I'm not sure if it is. Um, it probably is though, but lovely. Little ceramic porcelain uh, gilded brooch with Lainey. What bird is that? Because first of all, when I bought it, I was like, oh, Kingfisher. And it's like, no, it's not a Kingfisher because it's the wrong colours. But super pretty. It's like a transfer and then I think hand painted. Um, and I'm pretty sure, it's like, I'm very sure that they also do like China tea sets and things like that. So, nice collectible bit, not particularly old, but still very nice. This is cool. This cost me £15, and um, this is how you buy silver, okay? So yes, it cost me £15. However, it weighs, I think it's about 40 grams, something like that. So in scrap value, this is 20 quid. Um, but of course it's not scrap, is it? Because it's lovely and it's hallmarked inside. Brand spanking new, like with all of its bits and gubbinses. But you can tell from the weight that it was worth it. So I was quite happy to spend £15 on that. Because that is just lush, isn't it? Did consider keeping it, but I don't know. I think that's... I mean, look at that, a nice little bag and little care instructions and box. Smart, isn't it? Are you gonna stay? Stay there. There we go. Right, things from the box. On Saturday, on my birthday, I went to Resolven, also known as Riola, which is like a flea market -y type thing. And I bought a bag of jewellery and then there was other bits in there, like some plastic sunglasses and hair grips and things. Um, and she wanted £4 and so I gave her £4 for it because it's always a good gamble. I like a bit of a gamble. Um, I did see one of these earrings in there. I could see that it was silver and mother of pearl. And I was like, well, if that appears in there, then winner. It was in there, but unfortunately um, that bit had come off. But I've got jeweler's glue, so I've stuck it back on. Not like you'd really know. But also bonus, there was the matching pendant. Um, and then there was a next chain in there as well, next 925 which I figure this is probably a set by next because it looks like the kind of thing they do. So it's nothing overly special, just quite nice and simple. But I thought the little pink mother of pearl and considering I spent four pounds on the set, sorry, on the bag of jewelry, I think I've done all right getting a nice little silver mother of pearl set from there. Okay. There's two necklaces which I think are pretty cool and that I wouldn't normally pick up. I got these in Panath and I think I spent maybe five pounds each on them. But I like them because they were utterly bonkers. Like, look at all the different elements to this. So you've got 
like little faux pearls, dangly bells, what look like jasper, but I don't know. It's like gold in there, so it might be painted glass. And then um, some more stones in there. So that might be like an olive green agate possibly. And then some rose quartz, these lovely Etruscan style like beads in there, more faux pearls and some ribbons, and lovely chunky chain and a lovely toggle clasp. And then I saw this on there, Moe's Art. And I've looked it up, can't really see it as a jewellery brand, but I have found a website um, of an artist that's called Moe's Art. And in there, they mention that Mo used to take old bits of jewellery um, and reuse them to make new jewellery. So I'm wondering if this is from that person because I've got another one by them as well. So see, Mo's art. And then similar on this one, there's so many different cool elements in there. So we've got like, um, these rhinestone bits, and then a little glass heart. These bits that look a little bit like Whitby Jet, but they're plastic, but really cool beads. And you go, we've got a little bit of mother of pearl there. It's cool lamp work glass fish. So just really lovely elements to them. So I'm wondering if it is by that person yeah I just thought they were quite cool interesting I like to think that if they were you know handmade artisan that is by that lady because I've looked at her art as well and she seems quite talented okay we got some froggy themed things these were also in that bag of jewelry that I got on Saturday so we got two fun frogs that looks like the um you know like you get the chocolate frog in harry potter just before it jumps out the train window so a good climbing tree climbing frog and then this one is probably more of a toad look at him he's a toad with his red eyes fun chaps but these look at look at these <laughs> can you see so jangly face frogs this is actually a hair barrette Boing. Um, I think it's a vintage one sometimes you see things like made in France on hair barrettes oh this is Korea there you go it says there Korea so yeah definitely vintage then when would you think 70s or 80s maybe a lot of fun anyway, isn't it? A lot of fun. You stay there, guys. Stay next to your froggy friends then. Ooh, this I bought when we were down in Bristol. I really loved the kind of atomic sort of design in this. This brushed, um, like textured silver goes all the way around see even on the band these are emeralds in there and I know that because it even came with a little certificate it's actually from um, Gems TV or I think it's now called Gemporia so it's a home shopping network one but I mean some I've bought quite a lot from you know from these shopping channels and some of their designs are really nice. And so I super like this one. I really do. It's so like 1960s. I think it's really good fun. Now, where did this owl come from? Did he come from the market at the weekend? I can't remember. But he really reminded me of... Um... No, it's not at all. I was thinking 
from Bagpuss, but it's not. Who am I thinking? Somebody let me know who I'm thinking with this, like, a mechanical owl. Because in Bagpuss, it's not an owl, is it? But what am I thinking where it's a mechanical owl? It's a bit like that, like a wind-up one. Anyway, he's handsome, faux marker seat. But look at the spirals around his eyes. He's cool. Wise old bird. Alright, I've got a necklace here that I bought. One, because I just thought it was unusual with all these beads and rings and the greys and the blacks and the gold. But mainly I got it because of uh, the name on the tag. Because I did have to look twice. Because it says Azuni. And obviously I thought it was Azumi. <laughs> But it's Azuni London. And I've heard of them. So I was like, oh yes, I've heard of them. And they sell for decent enough prices. It's a nice statement necklace. Like I said, it's got lovely beads on it. Really quite handsome. That with like a white shirt or something. I think would look super cool. But yeah, quite a good name to look out for that one. What should we go for next? Um, oh, these I bought for 50 pence. Again, from Resolve and Market at the weekend. So these are dress clips. Or you can use them as shoe, shoe clips. But I think they are dress clips because they don't have spikes on them. Fur clips. Um, oh, God, it even says there. Right, what does it say? Made in France. Bluette. I didn't even notice that before, but can you see that there? So yeah, I think these are dress clips. So say if you've got um, a dress with like a square of collar, then you might want to, like a um, neckline, I mean, then you could like put these around the neckline and that would look really pretty. But um, they're fab, aren't they? This is lovely kind of smoky, almost like a, a grey topaz maybe kind of colour. Salt and pepper diamond, that's a thing now. Have you heard of them? Salt and pepper diamonds. So they're a low grade diamond, sorry just grabbing a drink. Or a lower grade diamond that I've got um, that are white with like flecks of grey and black in them. They're actually quite pretty. Yeah look out for that, salt and pepper diamonds. cannot remember where this came from when you think it was only last week that I bought this stuff and I'm like oh, I don't know I suppose it's because I just buy from so many different places and they all just kind of merge into one don't they but um I just really like this detail so that's um a nice enameling on there and then they've obviously like cut out the enameling and into like the gold well it's not gold you know the gold tone the brass to create this texture I think that's quite cool isn't it I just thought the, the technique was unusual that's why I picked that up and because people like butterflies as well don't they why not um, oh yes these are from Zolv and Market at the weekend I like these because they are so like mod so very 60s the beer checkerboard i think i think it might be i don't know like ebony perhaps like a black wood and maybe shell in there possibly it's not mother of pearl because it doesn't have an iridescence but yeah i thought they were fab i could just imagine them being in quadrophenia being worn by a uh, Leslie Ash, perhaps. They're cool, aren't they? Mm -hmm. um, oh, this I think was like 50 pence from Port Talbot, maybe? But just a lovely set. Oh no, this was from Puff Call, I think. A lovely set of beads, lovely glass ble beads, but I really like the fact that it's got these blue ones in between as well. Lovely shape to them, lovely glass crystal. And I think all of the beads are in really good condition as well. 
So it's being kept really well and will continue, hopefully, to be kept really well. Lovely length on them too. Right, nice. Pretty blue. Do, 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 do. Couple of bits of silver. Oh, this was 50p from a little rummage box. I thought, thank you very much. I love you for 50p. Um, it was very, very dirty. And you could barely see that there was a mark on there, but there is just a simple 925 mark. And then a little bit of mother of pearl. See simple clasp on there as well. Quite smart. Simple, nice. Looks nice with a watch. Like a lady's watch when you have those ones. And this one I think I got from Bristol. There's um, a nice shop in Bristol where they always have lots of cool bits of silver. At pretty reasonable prices. They're still a little bit more than I'd like to pay ideally, but, you know, can't blame them for wanting to get their money. But how lovely are these bits of uh, abalone in there? They almost look like little whirlpools, don't they? And I love this kind of squiggly, swirly design to it. That's a lot of fun. Don't think it's signed. But it's just got a uh, 95 on there. But that's a lot of fun, isn't it? Super cute. By the way, the music playing today is You're at the Ball in the Gold Room at the Overlook Hotel. Again, by Nemo's Dreamscapes. Oh, this little thing. This is a cute ring. Unfortunately, there's a marker seat missing from in there. But um, I bought it with the Ainsley brooch. So I basically paid £2 for the Ainsley brooch. And this one was free. That's how I'm seeing it. But lovely green glass. Art deco ring. But yeah, it's just a shame that one of the marker seat stones is missing. And you, it's really hard to replace them because... Um, well, you, you just can't because they just bloody fall out all the time and you don't really get placement marker seat stones. It's just quite difficult. I have done it before, but I just really love, like, don't you just love looking at the back and seeing, like, that's just so Art Deco there, just in the shoulders. Lovely. I love them. Uh, this was a pickup from Bristol. I think I paid 49 pence for it. Was hoping that it was silver, but it's not. I think it's silver plated. But how cool are the beads? Now, in Wales, that is like this symbol for um, the Erith Iced Edward. And then, obviously, that's like a copyright symbol. And then that looks like the play symbol. So I don't know if uh, this is for a particular brand I couldn't see a branding on it but I just th thought that the beads were so cool really bizarre that it was worth picking up and someone out there might like it you never know you never know and um, I know someone who's going to like these earrings that I bought from Resolving Market because she's a big fan of unicorns and that is Susan Badwolf. I'll have to ask her if she's got her ears pierced. And uh, if she does, I might just send these to her. I am joking, of course. She hates unicorns and she would despise me if I sent these to her. But it would be worth it just for the shits and giggles. <laughs> but yeah, fun little unicorn. Just needs a little bit of a clean up there. Oh, there you go. Done. But yeah. Someone out there will love them. A little bit of cloisonne enamel style. Probably from past times or somewhere like that. Again, in that box or bag of stuff that I bought for £4 was this. It's Winnie the Pooh charm bracelet. These are not sterling silver, unfortunately, because if they were, that would be about, oh God, I don't know. 50, 60 quid, something like that. It does say Disney on the back of Pooh Bear there. 
He looks rather happy about it. And we've got Tigger. Um, Rue, isn't it? Yeah, Rue. And Eeyore. And Piglet. So yeah, they all just say Disney on them. Um, I haven't looked at up how much this one is, but again, I've done all right from that four pound bag, haven't I? Someone out there will love that. Um, oh, these were from, Carla got me a, a bag of stuff from the place where she gets her sacks from. I saw these, I thought they're funny earrings. And thankfully they are Jackie Brazil Sobral. So they won't get me loads, maybe about 15 pounds. But when you pay £10 for the bag of jewellery and you instantly get something that gets your money back, that's always good, isn't it? They're a lot of fun. Chunky plastic earrings. They're kind of beastly, aren't they? And another one from that bag of jewellery. Go on. One last one from that £4 bag of jewellery. is this lovely sparkly cross. So sterling silver again. And really unusual cross, like a ribbon, isn't it? Like a twisted ribbon. But just nice and simple. And pretty and sparkly. I definitely did okay for that four pound. I like a little risk like that. Four pound isn't really a risk though, is it? I think this was from the lot of stuff that uh, Carla got me as well. So we've got the little Cornish imp and he's on a wishbone. So double lucky. And it does say, is it a Hollywood one? Yes, and it's the Hollywood brand one as well. So that's cool, so it's named and it's painted even though it's not the greatest paintwork, but still, he's fun. Someone will like him because he's good luck. Well, we hope he's good luck anyway. Okay, we need something to go up in this corner, don't we? How about this? So, a lovely big carved shell pendant. See how it's mother of pearl there? Beautiful carved flower with some lovely uh, freshwater pearl, natural pearls, baroque pearls and sterling silver clasp and chain there. That's really lovely, isn't it? Quite handsome. Nice for holidays. Nice for holidays. When we eventually get them. We will one day. If you go on holiday, you can go here. Hooray. Um, so this is a bit of Delft. It's old. Look how long the pin sticks out there. Uh, probably a low grade silver, like an 800 silver perhaps. Um, but yeah, it's just a bit of Delft pottery. So you'll see jugs, vases like that with this Dutch design on it. Very pretty, nice souvenir piece. Does anyone name begin with an E? Hands up if your name begins with an E. And if you like cats, because we've got this kit E. <laughs> In sterling silver. Kind of looks like my, um, my cat Derv. He must have had the best balance in the world because he could sit on the top of the television or sleep on top of the television hanging down like paws and tail down without falling off and be fast asleep there he was a gorgeous cat he was a long-haired silver tabby he was beautiful but yeah a lot of fun isn't it so there's going to be an emma or an evelyn or an eve out there that will really appreciate that some cat lover um, oh, I'm going to take these rings off and show you another ring that I got. Now, this was from 
a job lot that I bought off eBay. And I saw this in there and I figured that's probably silver. Again, it was very dirty when I got it, but I was right, silver and garnet. And what a beast that is, isn't it? I mean, I don't know if they included it to make the job lot look tastier or whether they just didn't know. But um, I think the job lot cost me £20. And that is a beast of a beautiful silver and garnet ring. And happily, it fits. I think it's more of a... Not so much on that finger. It's definitely kind of a that one, isn't it? But yeah, it's a right Bobby Dazzler. Oof. It's lovely. Where can we go? Okay, you can go with the other rings there. Hmm. Another Bobby Dazzler. Oh, how about, would you like a couple of men's bits? Well, we say men's bits, but anyone can use them, really. This we've got a lovely, um, like, tie pin. And then I presume that would go around a button, I guess. But I was sure this was gold. I mean, doesn't it look like gold to you? That looks like gold, doesn't it? Apparently not. I still, I'm, I'm still, I'll test it again. But anyway, lovely Rivoli stone in there. A bit kind of 1970s, I think. But it's nice. That's a handsome pin anyway. And hopefully with um, weddings sort of being back on, people are starting to think about the little fine details like that. And then this is a pair of silver cufflinks I bought for 50p. Now, they came together and they look sort of the same, don't they? But they have two different times on them. They wind ups on the side. Can you see it are like two different sizes? And then they've got two different hallmarks on them. So they're not actually a matching pair. How weird is that? So at some point they've, I don't know, gotten confused, been in a shop window and been changed around or something. That's weird, isn't it? But yeah, matching but not matching. But I kind of like that. That means that there's some kind of story behind it that we'll probably never know. And it will remain a mystery. But a lot of fun. Um, is it time to ask for your help on stuff? Again? What stone do we think this is? Could it be amber? Could it be a jasper? It's very unusual. It doesn't feel cold, so maybe it is amber. Like a natural one? I don't know. Let me know what you think anyway. It's a pretty little thing. Don't think it's got any hallmark hallmarks, just 925. So, like, say if it was from Poland or something, I might believe that it was amber. Oh, you know how I said that that was the last thing from that four pound bag? I lied. It was also these, which I might keep because they're lightning bolts. So, there's a pair of lightning bolt silver studs. So, uh,. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them, because they're fun. And I gotta keep something, haven't I? Um, how about some gorgeous earrings? I'll show you two pairs of lovely dangly earrings, silver ones, because they're beautiful. Aren't they lush? So lovely, chunky. I think these ones were 50p from a rummage box as well. And again, they were like proper dirty, but lovely chunky, like really heavy. I mean, not too heavy to wear, but nice big chunks of silver there with beautiful abalone in there. And then this has got mother of pearl. And I think they look a little bit like ghosts or angel wings, don't you think? Gorgeous though, aren't they? 
they signed? No, it just says 925 on them. And I think the same on these ones as well. Beautiful though. Um, <laughs> okay, these I got, this I got from Panath. And it just made me laugh because it says baby. And I was just thinking baby spice or Justin Bieber. Um, like, why, why would you have that? But it's a Victorian thing. You would give a baby a silver brooch. It said baby on it, apparently. Seems weird. It says sterling silver on the back. It's not proper hallmarked, but it is quite old. And uh, yeah, it just made me laugh because you, you know, instead of saying prefect or school captain or librarian, it's just got baby. Not even a name, just you out to baby. <laughs> uh, you know how I said about the silver earlier about buying it um, under the scrap value the same with this one this is 9 carat gold bracelet £35 and it is 2.5 grams of gold which so technically I bought it at scrap value but I mean that is not scrap isn't it that is a delightful little charm bracelet, toggle clasp with a heart charm. Now oh, that's lovely. I'd wear that, you know. That's really pretty. I mean, I know, I know people probably go like, well, you like hearts, like that's so mainstream and stuff. Like I like hearts because I think they're a bit trashy, a bit rock and roll trashy. And so yeah, I do like that. This is really pretty. Look at the colour on this. So this is from that nice little shop in Bristol as well. Those I think are Peridots. Gorgeous little, like really delicate, pretty little stones. I'm not sure if I tested them yet, so don't quote me on them being Peridot, but I think they are. So I'll get the Presidium on them and actually properly test. I'm pretty sure they are. Right, a few weeks ago, um, I bought an Ortac, um, which is silver maker, like Malcolm Gray, who lives, um, or oh, the jewelry comes from the Orkney Islands. And then I went back to the same place in Panath and I bought the matching bracelet because I've sold this bracelet before and I think I got about 50 quid for it. Um, but yeah, so I had to have it because it is pretty. Like it's the Macintosh rose in sterling silver and gorgeous enamel work, really lovely. And I just love that it's like made in the Orkneys and it's just got nice provenance to it. And that I've got the matching pendant necklace as well. You're not going to want to stay there. There we go. Uh, what have we got? Four little bits left. So we've got a little bit more gold. It's a little mismatched pair of earrings in nine carat gold. Cute little sun and moon studs. Are you going to focus there? Can you focus please? Oh, there we go. So see little man in the moon and then little face, sun face, face sun. I don't know what you call him. Like the baby in, 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 in Tinky Winky, Teletubbies, that's what it's called. But yeah, they're cute. I don't know if they were actually meant to be like that, you know, a sun and a moon, but as pairs go, it kind of works, doesn't it? Um, where was this one from? I can't remember now. Uh, might have been in that £20 job lot, possibly. Um, but yeah, nice winner, Swarovski. See the swan there? But it's a lovely fan shape. All the stones are there. And look at the cut on that big one. Isn't that so cool? 
It's a beautiful brooch. Not a peep wrong with it. Should hope for about 25 30 on that, I think. Which again, you know, when you pick up something like that and you go, well, that pays for the lot and everything else is a bonus. And also, I used to kind of look down on Swarovski a little bit, but my appreciation for it, like since doing these videos especially, has really gone up because they do make some lovely things. I'm just not so keen on their, um, you know, figures and stuff like that. I think some of them can be a bit, hmm. Um, this is missing its chain, which is gutting, but I can always put a chain on it. But we have got a lovely silver and jade, proper jade bangle. This identical one, which was also missing his chain, which is quite bizarre. One sold for £86 auction on eBay. Um, I don't know particularly why, why so much, but makes me happy that I invested in this one and I do think it's lovely. I think the colour is gorgeous. It's a handsome bit of jewellery. Really nice. Jade is just beautiful, isn't it? I mean, of course we'd all like a piece of imperial jade in gold, but that's not always possible. But just lovely. I really like that. I did spend quite a bit on that because that's like a bit of an investment piece, you know. And then I've got one last thing to show you, which again was in a rummage box of jewellery. I paid a pound for it. I picked it up because I thought that it was going to be costume because I sell this kind of design of things. It's sort of Cleopatra necklace, you know, Monet and all of that do things very similar. Um nice bit of texture on there then I saw the tag and I thought oh it's probably silver with gold plating on um but actually it's nine karat gold and it's about six grams six seven grams so not bad for a pound but also I just think it's beautiful like the lovely articulation like of this it sits really nicely like just above the collarbone beautiful shape to it beautiful textures I'm really chuffed I got that um so that is another keeper for me <laughs> for now anyway we'll see but I definitely like that one right as usual if there is anything here that you fancy um, apart from that and maybe the jade. <laughs> um, but yeah, if there's anything here you fancy, please do email me. Email address is in the description box below. Send me a message as to what it is that you've got your eye on. What's tickled your fancy this week? And uh, I'm sure we can come to some sort of arrangement. I don't take payment in kind. Well, maybe I do. <laughs> In favours. Who knows? <laughs> I'm kidding. That would be weird. Anyways, until next time, uh, bye-bye now. Bye-bye.